In addition to using the assessments and test piece in Schoology, if you already have quizzes or assessments or polls already created in Microsoft Forms, you can bring those over to Schoology as well. You can do it by copying and pasting the link from your form directly into the course as you normally might do in, let's say, OneNote, but you can also actually embed the form directly into Schoology so that they can take the form or the quiz directly within the Schoology interface. So what you're going to do first is pop on over to Microsoft Forms and open up the quiz or the assessment that you want to embed into Schoology. Before we get the share information that we need to bring this into Schoology, just double check your settings on this quiz to make sure that it's set up correctly. By clicking on the three dots in the upper right hand corner of Microsoft Forms and going to settings, you can double check all the information necessary. So who can fill out this form, for example, is an important one um, if you want the names of the students to be recorded after they take it so you know whose is whose, you want to make sure that this is checked off and that the name is recorded and if you only want them to be able to submit this once, you can check this off as well. So ch double check all of these settings before we go over now to begin embedding this. So in order to embed, what you're going to do is then come over to the share option and you see here this is the link that you would normally copy and paste and the kids would click on in order to access your form. But to embed, what we're going to do is actually get the embed code for this particular quiz. So you're going to click on this icon over here for embed. You see the code changes from a website address to this coding language. So you're going to copy this code and now we have it copied. So now we're going to go back over to our Schoology course. So you're going to find a place where you want to put this form. So let's say, for example, we want this, the students to take this the week of September 21st. So I'm going to click on the green dotted line beneath this folder so that the form will go directly where I want it. Now you can embed this in a variety of different types of materials. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put mine on a page. If you want to assign it a due date or something like that, you could do it as an assignment. The only issue with that is, is that the students would actually have to click submit on the assignment even though they're not really submitting anything per se. So for example, I'm just going to put mine on a page for now. And you're going to put in whatever you want to call this math quiz on math forms. Um, you can put some directions in here if you want, but if you already have directions on your form, it's probably not necessary. And then, in order to embed this, remember when we copied that embed code, you're not going to copy it directly on this page. What we need to do is actually switch over to HTML, which is sort of the, the coding language for this. So we're going to click on that, you're going to see your toolbar up here disappears, and then I'm going to paste in the coding provided by Microsoft Forms for my particular quiz. And then all I need to do is click Create. So it's been created, so if you want to see what it's going to look like, what you can do now is come down to where you inserted it and click on it. So you can see here the quiz is automatically put into here, and you can see because I'm already signed into Office 365 on this computer, it already recognizes me and I don't have to actually um, log into Microsoft in order to take this. So when the students go through all the questions, they'll be done with it and they'll click Submit, and then you will be able to view the responses over in Microsoft Forms. Remember, this is not a grade, it's not going to put it into your grade book because this was not created in Schoology, this was created in Forms. So if you are going to put this in your grade book in PowerSchool, you are going to have to do that manually. And that's as simple as that.